Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Overview of Drupal. In this tutorial, we will learn about Content Management System, Drupal, Salient Features of Drupal, and Overview of this series. First, let us understand what is Drupal. Drupal is a free and open source content management system, CMS. What is a CMS? It is not like the old days where we have several HTML files uploaded on a server. In the traditional way, each web page has its own HTML file. Now, it is very different. Each page is constructed using various components. Each of the component can come from different places. These components are assembled on the fly using some programming logic. So, depending on where you are viewing, say a desktop or a mobile, it could be different. It can also change depending on who is viewing it from where. You may be a student viewing it from India or a customer buying something from Singapore. Each of you could see a different page. CMS is the program behind this presentation logic. It uses various programming functionalities such as PHP, Ajax, JavaScript, etc. All CMS usually use a database to store information content without any formatting. The formatting of content is done separately. CMS makes even non-technical users to manage a website easily. Drupal is one such CMS that is open source, meaning the code is freely available. Anybody can download and change it. Drupal was founded in 2000 by Dries Butart when he was a student. Since making it open source, Several thousands of people have helped in modifying the code. They then give it back to the community with small improvements. Drupal community is one of the largest and closely knit open source community. This community has developers, site builders, volunteers who make Drupal what it is today. It is said that in Drupal, you come for the code Stay for the community. Maybe you will stick to the community for the same reason. Let me list out the top 10 features of Drupal. Number 1. Drupal is free and completely open source. Anybody can download the source code and modify it. Even if you are a developer, Drupal is very useful. Number 2. Drupal is flexible. Drupal is one of the most adaptive systems available today. Drupal works well with sophisticated websites that require many different custom data structures. Developers use it as both CMS and as a broader web development platform. Number 3. Drupal is mobile ready. We can view and administer every page on our Drupal site from any mobile device we choose. Number 4. Drupal is fantastic for big projects. From the whitehouse.gov to weather.com and Dallas Cowboys, Drupal can handle any project. Drupal shines with more complex websites. It's one of the best solutions for people who want to build a feature-rich website. And it is also highly suitable for large enterprises. Number 5. Drupal is friendly, social, and searchable. Drupal helps people find my site and my content. Also, Drupal allows site editors to add tags, descriptions, keywords, and human-friendly URLs. Number 6. Drupal is safe and secure. Drupal keeps our site safe with regular security updates, hash passwords, session IDs that change when permissions change, 
text format permissions, restricting user input, and a lot more. Drupal takes security very seriously. Number 7. We can extend our Drupal site by using thousands of modules that add features to the Drupal site. Think of any feature and somebody has mostly built a module and made it available free. We can have multiple themes or versions of a theme on the same site. And yet, have complete control over the visual presentation of your website data. Number 8. If you need help, there's a helpful community around Drupal and it is huge. There are Drupal events all around the world. Local events are called Drupal Camps and every year there are major Drupal cons all around the world. There are very active forums, user groups and IRC chats dedicated to Drupal support. Number 9. There are some very large and experienced companies around Drupal. Acquia, partner for the series, is the largest Drupal company. In India, there are more than 60 Drupal service companies. There are also hundreds of freelancers who know Drupal. Number 10. Drupal is everywhere. There are over 1.2 million websites at the time of this recording. Drupal runs 3% of the entire web and 15% of the top 10,000 websites. Drupal is highly popular with governments, education, non-profits and large enterprises. In this tutorial series, we will learn the following topics. How to install Drupal. We will show you how to install Drupal and other associated software. Almost anybody can do this. You need not be Linux or Windows administration savvy for this. The content workflow. Here we will learn how the basic content of a website is organized within Drupal. We will also create simple website content as though you are editing it in a word processor. Then we will learn some of the powerful features that make Drupal unique. They are relationships between content, programmatic formatted display of several contents, and so on. How to extend Drupal The second most powerful of Drupal is modules or extensions. As mentioned before, there is a module, like an app, for almost any feature you require. Given that there are tens of thousands of modules, we will show you how to select a module for your purpose. How to lay out the site. Once the basic content and features are ready, we need to make a beautiful display of it. In the layout part, we will learn how easy it is to change the look and feel of the website. Like modules, the layout or themes are also available as community contributions. How to manage people. Unlike other single user oriented CMS, such as WordPress, Drupal is often used in situations where different users can do different things in the website. In people management part, we will learn how to set up different roles and give them different permissions. How to properly manage the site. Finally, in the last part, we will learn how to manage the code of Drupal. It is important to keep the site updated for security and stability. It is also helpful to get new features to make the site more user friendly. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned about Introduction to Drupal, Salient features of Drupal and overview of this Drupal series. This video is adapted from Acquia, an OS training, and revised by Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial Project. Please download and watch it.
The spoken tutorial team conducts workshops and gives certificates to those who pass online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, Ministry of Human Resource Development and NVLI, Ministry of Culture, Government of India. This is Varsha Venkatesh signing off. Thanks for joining.